432 here. Check it out. This is the <laughs> CZ P01 all steel. All steel. That means it's hard to hold up. Stand by for the review. Here we go. All right, guys. Good boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're looking at a select few CZs from my collection. One being this guy right here. This is the P01 Omega in the tactical urban gray. Now, the reason this guy is sitting here is because we are going to use it as a uh, well, a test sample against the P01 that's in this box. Now, this is the SP01. This is the all steel version, and its little brother is sitting in the box. Now, what's in the box is the P01 all steel. Now, this guy was sent to me by a gentleman named Ethan Manning of Manning and Sons. Now, he has a gun dealer up out of Illinois, and he sent this to me for testing and evaluation. Now, I had not really had an opportunity to take this thing out to the range except for a real quick shoot. And I will tell you this right now, the biggest difference between this guy and this guy right here is the weight. Go ahead and clear it. And the weight of the two really helps in mitigating muzzle rise and recoil. And in all honesty, I was able to shoot this guy much faster than this one. But Let's do this. We're going to go through the full-blown review of this thing. And if you want to see the actual testing and shooting of this thing, I'm going to put down below in the uh, description of this video a link to Ethan Manning's uh, YouTube channel where he is going to show you how this thing ran. Now, he put a ton of rounds to it. First thing he did was call me up. He goes, dude, you're going to love this thing. And he wasn't lying, boys and girls. I shot this thing, and it was like a dream. As a matter of fact, I don't really want to give it back, but... I have to. So, in any case, we'll go ahead and make sure, well, she is clear, and that thing is so smooth. It's absolutely beautiful. So, what's the biggest difference? Because everybody's seen a P01 commercial or a, a, you know, a video, but what I want to talk about, what is important about this guy? Why did I specifically call him and say, if I were to test something out, it would be this thing right here? Well, I'm getting ready to show you. Here we go. Well, I hope that's not too bright for everybody, but anyway, it does come with two magazines. Now, here's the differences between these magazines and the other one. And again, like I said, I've got this thing overexposed. If the white bothers you, I apologize. But these guys right here, these magazines, these are 14-round mags, and they come with a rubber base. Now, hold on one second. See, where the tactical comes with the plastic extended this guy right here comes with a rubber section right here and it is rubber it's pliable and it's nice I guess when you drop it on the ground well it's not gonna dent or hurt your surface or whatever but in any case we'll go ahead and put those away so the P01 all steel now this has an all steel frame now what's the biggest difference the biggest difference is the weight and you know if you're gonna carry something like this around all day long and I know you probably can't see that but here we go but we'll take this guy right here and to make everything, well, let's see. Overall weight of the P01 Omega Tactical is one pound, 9.4 ounces. See if you can see that, one pound, 9.4 ounces. This is the all steel. This bad boy comes in at two pounds, 2.8 ounces. That's huge. Now, let's go ahead and pull them apart and check out the differences there. And like I said, if you want to see this guy in action, go ahead and look at the link down below. And that'll be the link to seeing Mr. Ethan giving this thing a run for its money. Now, as you can see, the differences there, not really a whole lot of differences. The frames are pretty much the same all the way around. But let's take a look at the weight differences just in the frame itself. And you know, honestly, guys, that is the biggest difference difference now I'm gonna get stuff all over my my frame here but you can see there's some differences in the slide releases right there the pin on the slide release is a little bit larger now I wonder well, we'll go ahead and pull the SP01 over here to the side here real quickly but this is the two frames by themselves without anything on them pull our scales back over here the frame for the SP01 or the P01 tactical is 10.3 ounces this beast right here one pound one it's it's basically one pound five ounces one pound five ounces good grief alive almost 10 ounces more that's amazing now the slides 
minus. Let's go ahead and just take this off here. 14.3, 13.4. So with a little bit of an extended barrel there, basically the slides are identical, as you can see. And we got that taken care of. Let's go ahead. It's amazing to me the differences in the weight right here. Now, the, this thing does come with the rubber grips, mag release, and like I said, there's not a whole lot of differences between this guy and the aluminum alloy frame, but man, look at that guy. Isn't that pretty? All right, pull this out of the way real quick. Let's go ahead and put this little boy back together. So we've got the SP01 and the P01. One of the things I want to do is I'd like to compare the, the two together and see if these slide releases are the same length. And they are not. Look at that. The slide release for the P01 all steel is longer. Look at that thing. Interesting that they would do that. All right. So what's the differences in the, wow, you know what? Hold on one sec. This is getting fun. This is the interesting stuff. So the SP01 frame is one pound, 4.7 ounces. Believe it or not, look at that. Can you guys see that? Let's see if I can cut that line out of there. One pound, five ounces. One pound, 4.7 ounces. So the P01 all steel is actually heavier than the SP01. That's pretty, look how dirty those are. Wow, unbelievable. Those are the internals. Who would have thought? Unbelievable. All right, well, guys, that's a real quick look at the SP01 and the, F, and the P01 all steel. It does come with that hook trigger. My only complaint with these things is I cannot stand the hook trigger because it does dig into the bottom of my finger right there. But other than that, man, this thing is a fast actor. I'm going to pick up a new gun this afternoon and I might have to put this one on layaway if it's still available. That's absolutely crazy. But guys, that's it. Let's see the barrels. Hmm. Pretty cool. That's all I got. This is this is really neat. I really appreciate it, Ethan sending this out for me to take a look at it. I, I might end up having to uh, pick this thing up. Unbelievable. Anyway, here's the deal. So took this thing in, and this gun is actually going to go down to Cajun Gunworks, and it is going to be Cajunized. Now I will tell you this right now. That's the reason why this is such a flat and good shooter is because of that weight. I did a side-by-side -side comparison of these two. Check the video out. Yeah, the double action, and about the same. But I will tell you this, this guy right here is an ultimate flat shooter, and that's why. That thing is heavy. All right, guys, well, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate in asking. Like I said, please go down and take a look at Ethan Manning's uh, YouTube channel of him giving this thing a full-blown run for the money. I'm going to also put the link right here for you to subscribe to his channel. And if you feel like doing some shopping, give him a ring, man. The guy is awesome. I love working with him. He's actually sent me a new pistol that is going to be giving a bad run for its money and i might have to give it back screaming and hollering but anyway that being said guys god bless america god bless those men women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom this freedom's not free let's go to boy 32 out